Hi, welcome to another episode of MYD Global. I'm your host, Leanne hackman Cardi. After a disaster, oftentimes the trauma remains. One of the things that Elizabeth McNaughton in New Zealand found was that she could make a difference. She could take this crisis and flip it into an opportunity. In order to do that, she developed Cards for Calamity with her business partner. So stay tuned as I talk to Elizabeth about what these cards do and how you might be able to access them to help people in your community. Hey, Elizabeth, how are you doing today? I'm doing really well. Thank you so much for having me. Well, it's great. I, I came upon your uh, your work on the internet and I just thought, you know, I want to interview and, and talk a little bit about it. Before we get started, though, just, just tell the viewers a little bit about yourself. Sure. So I'm based in New Zealand and you could say that my career has quite literally been a series of disasters. So I started with the Boxing Day Tsunami recovery work there in South Asia and I've worked all over the world to help people recover and find their way after disasters. That's awesome. Well, one of the things that uh, I saw you do with your company is these cards for calamity. So can you just explain what they are, why you started them, what they're used for? Absolutely. So um, at Hummingly, uh, we create products for people to support them after disaster. And how this came about is my co-founder and I, Jolie Wills, who's a cognitive psychologist, we were working in the Christchurch earthquakes. Um, and we were supporting a lot of people and we just wanted to have some more tools so that we could reach more people with the information that we needed. And this idea just stuck with us. And so then as we continued our work on WhatsApp, we're just like sending each other messages of stories, of ideas, you know, when we're working around the world with different communities, we're collecting that wisdom. And we just kept texting and texting and texting. And then we also did some Winston Churchill fellowships and we met recovery leaders and communities all over the world again and we just kept texting all of those nuggets those little pieces of wisdom from all over the world and before we knew it we had thousands of messages um, and we looked at those and we thought these would actually really be helpful for people so uh, we edited we put them together we really refined them into 70 cards with just the very key things messages stories tips tricks practical stuff because we really wanted to make life after disaster easier for people and to be able to do that at scale. So with cards, um, you can um, you can buy them for your loved ones after disaster or as an organization, you can use them to induct your staff so they understand the recovery journey because it's not well understood um, is one of the key things. These cards, uh, they're based on someone's experience with the disaster. Is that kind of what the, the thought behind them are? Yes. So, you know, the, in there are stories, say, from the Black Saturday bushfires or from the Christchurch earthquakes or from uh, all over the world, loads and loads of disasters, um, just little stories and tips and wisdom. And what happens is when people have the cards, they start to realize that their experience is normal and they start to feel prepared for what is ahead and they start to really understand the key questions they need to ask of themselves and their communities so that they can better put together their lives after disaster. If someone wants to get the cards, uh, do they go to your website and then you ship them to them or how does that work? Absolutely. So um, go to Hummingly. Co, and they're all there as are some more information about them um, generally the reaction from people when they read through the cards they find it quite a powerful experience um, and what's great is you can use them yourself with your family but also with your community um, they're really great for community meetings um, they're great to to take a photo of and send to people as messages of support. Uh, you can have a curated dinner with people and put cards under the plate so that each um, each serving you have a different discussion point because 
life after disaster is best done together. Well, is there anything else you want to mention about the cards or, or what you're doing before we wrap up? What we're finding today, and, and we're all experiencing it globally right now, is that disasters of unprecedented intensity and magnitude are our new normal. And so we really need to be prepared and have all the tools that we can and have innovative approaches to meet these new challenges. So it's really important that we care for each other and prepare for what is a new way of being in the world.